Hey guys, I'm back. Happy 2018. Whole new year, whole new thing of opportunities. Also, I can't, don't know if you can tell, but my room's been painted a new color. And my setup is a bit different. We had to clean off my desk to move my desk out. So that's something. But I'm getting a, I'm, I'm building a, a whole new setup anyway, so don't get too used to this. I really can't wait to show you what, lo what it looks like, and I also can't wait to actually use it. Because this is not really professional. So, yeah. I wanted to get back into swing things with a quick little review of Bright. A friend of mine told me about Bright. She said it was really good. She loved it. And originally, I wasn't really going to watch it because it just didn't really seem that interesting to me. I just thought it was like some weird alien movie. Or, you know, it was, it was like it was like, in, it was like the Police Academy version of Independence Day. But then I kind of looked a bit into it and then it got really interesting. But how like it's, you know, elves, orcs, humans, and like sometimes fairies. It's, it's really weird. But I can honestly see this become like maybe a saga or like maybe get a few more movies because it was really interesting. Now, Bright... This movie, man, it's just like a whole lot of different genres and films and like like just cliches and a bunch of stuff just all piled into one movie. It's like Harry Potter, Blade Runner, or Blade Runner or Total Recall, like combined with like Lethal Weapon and Game of Thrones or something. I don't know. It's just, it's a very interesting concept. It's like... Elves, orcs, and humans all live in society together, except it's all like set up in like classes. The elves are high society, you know, they're rich, they're living like they're Kardashians. And there's the humans, where they're the middle class, you know, average family. And then they're the orcs, and they're like the very low standards. And there's like, there's like a bunch of like really good lore behind it about how like there's like a war that erupted between the humans and the elves and the orcs and then they all kind of resolve their differences and they all live in harmony somewhat and like orcs are like meant to be like closed off and not to meant to interact with humans but then this guy Jacoby is like, he, he's a copy, he's like Will Smith's partner and they like, how, how times have I said like so far? So they come across an elf and she's a bright and apparently a bright is like a human, an orc, or an elf who can like hold a magic wand and not die. So that's pretty much the gist of the movie. You know, they have a really great cast. They have, you know, Will Smith. Oh crap. Joel Egerton, that, that's his name. Joel. Not Terrence. Joel. I know I forget. I know his name skipped my mind for a second. was Joel Egerton. Naomi Price, or or piece. Just a whole lot of like really good actors were in this movie and plus it was directed by David Ayer so you got a pretty dope soundtrack as well and this movie was just I cannot stress this enough this was a very interesting concept for a movie I mean it's like the future but not the future it's like a dystopia yeah it's not a dystopia it's just it's kind of like a commentary on or maybe I don't know I don't know how to describe it to be honest I'm just like, I actually have something to say about this, not like my Last Jedi review, which, by the way, I will link later on in this video. But it's just, there was a lot to process about this movie. I mean, it's, it's, like, a, it's, like, a, it's like a fairy tale cop movie. It's kind of like the best way to put it. Mixed with, like, Harry Potter and a lot of these other sci-fi and fantasy movies. The action was really well done. I mean, it was intense. It was gritty. I mean, the freaking elves were like John Wick. I mean, they're like, they're jumping all over the place, running fast, punching dudes like five feet, gutting dudes with their knives. They're like pulling out like dual wheel machine guns and they're just like. Joel and Will had some great chemistry in the film because, you know, Will's playing this guy, this like cop who's having to work with an orc who's like being, who's like an outcast of the police station or pre precinct and like he's getting a lot of heat and plus Will Smith's character was shot in the chest by a by an orc with a shotgun while Joel's character was off getting something to eat and just it's a whole lot of like it's a very really interesting dynamic. 
I mean, just trust me, watch it, and I think you guys will really like how their characters are, are written and how they interact. Naomi, Naomi Rapis is Rapis Rapis. I cannot say her last name for the life of me. Is it Naomi, 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 Naomi? No, no. You know what? Just, she's a good villain. She is awesome. She always plays like really cool, like weird, creepy, gypsy like characters. I mean, I loved her in Girl with with the dra with the dragon tattoo. I did watch a few episodes of the TV show she was in. I regret nothing. Anyways, that is gonna do it for today. Sorry, I have not posted in like two weeks. I've just been busy with Christmas, and I was in Texas for a couple days. I, my dad got a puppy, and he actually bit me on the nose right here. So that's something. But and also, my room was getting painted, and I'm trying to get. I'm trying to figure out with, with my new setup. So hopefully, next week I'll be back on my whole. Posting two to three times a week schedule, and hopefully we have some more content coming up. I have a couple of videos I, I want to make. I was going to make a uh, reaction video to a uh, Watch Mojo thing they did with Star Wars, but you know those videos tend to be pretty long, and I don't think I can hold my phone for like nine minutes because both my arms get tired. So, anyways, make sure to like. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys later this week, or I will see you guys next week. I definitely need to start saying I'll see you guys later or not. I'll see you guys later, later this week or, or, or next week, because that's not good on my part.